If you are looking for a new fragrance that is going to make you feel confident, make heads turn, then you are gonna wanna watch this video because I'm reviewing 18 fragrances, most of them under $50, that you're gonna wanna know about. Let's get into it. I'm Ashley Janelle if you are new here and like I mentioned we have 18 fragrances that we are reviewing today I'm gonna give you my opinion I'm also gonna give you all the rundown on all of the notes we have so many different fragrances from super fun and flirty to more unisex to more a little bit more masculine so there's something definitely in here for everyone we're gonna go ahead and get started but before we do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel I don't want you to miss anything and please go ahead and like the video let's get into it so let's go ahead and get started how this is going to work is i'm going to give you my initial impression of each fragrance and then we're going to get into the actual notes okay so i'm going to give you my impression as if you were someone who walked past me on the street and you asked me you know what does my fragrance smell like so i'll give you my impression and then we'll double back with the notes i am referencing all of the fragrances today from a little book that i got from sephora this is not a sponsored video but this is where all of the fragrances are going to come from so let's go ahead and get into the first one which is actually from tom ford and this is going Going to be the tobacco vanilla I'm getting a woodsy citrusy mix so let's go ahead and that's that's my analysis a woodsy citrusy mix so let's go ahead and actually see what the notes are in uh, this one so this one is going to have tobacco leaf vanilla and ginger so I was close tobacco leaves and then we have the vanilla and the ginger in there for that that more sweet uh, scent I would definitely say that this one is a little bit more on the maybe unisex to masculine side Depending on what it is that you like um, So if you're someone who is interested in more of that woodsy smell with a little bit of kind of like that Sweeter side this is gonna be a really really good option for you. And again, this is the Tom Ford tobacco vanilla so for each fragrance, I'm gonna give you the price um, as it's listed here in Sephora. Um, and this this one is $70. So there is a 0.3 ounce that is $70 and there is a 1.7 ounce that is $285. So the next scent is actually gonna come from Mason Margiela and it is going to be their replica scent. And it is the replica by the fireplace scent. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this one. Ooh, okay. So when I initially smelled this scent, before I even looked at the picture, this scent gives me gentle fluidity. So if you are familiar with gentle fluidity, this is going to be very, very similar. It's almost, it's not exactly on the nose as gentle fluidity, but that's the first thing that I think of. So for those of you who are not familiar with gentle fluidity, gentle, flu gentle fluidity is going to be I would say the base is a little bit more masculine, but it has a hint of um, some citrus in there as well. So let's go ahead and see if I am right about this one. So for the Mason Margiela replica, this is going to, the notes are going to be orange flower, clove oil, and chestnut atop a comforting vanilla. So it sounds like we have orange, we have some clove, and we have some vanilla. So it, it smells really, really good. I would purchase this one. I really, really like this one. It feels very warm. Um, it feels, um, if, we're, if we're talking like times of the year, I would say this is definitely maybe more fall, winter. I still wear my Gentle Fluidity, which I think is pretty similar to this one. I wear that all year round. It's typically an evening scent. I would say that this replica is an evening scent as well. Um, but definitely really, really like this one. This one starts at $32 for their 0.3 ounce and their 3.4 ounce is $144. I would definitely purchase this one. This is a this is a favorite of mine. So yeah, that is the replica. Okay, so the next thing is actually gonna come from Dior and it is called Savage. So let's go ahead and see what this one is giving. Okay, so when I initially smelled this one, my first impression was it is very masculine. It reminds me of something that I would purchase for my boyfriend or for a man in my life. It reminds me of um, like, you know, body wash that is for men. A lot of times it's infused with a cologne, but because it's body wash, it still has like a fresh scent. That's exactly what I'm getting from this. So 
Let's go ahead and see what the notes are in this one. So the notes in this one are going to be mandarin, tonka bean, and sandalwood. So again, you're gonna have the mandarin, I think for kind of that fresh smell, um, the tonka bean and the, what was the other one? The sandalwood is I think gonna be more of that base that's gonna give you that more masculine, what I perceive as kind of that more masculine smell. Um, so if that is something that you like or something that you feel like someone around you would like, um, the price of this one starts at $62 for their one ounce bottle and $112 for their 3.4 ounce bottle. So definitely gives me more of that masculine feeling. That's the first thing that I thought of. So the next scent is actually going to be by a brand called Killian in Paris, and it is going to be their Love Don't Be Shy perfume. So let's go ahead and see what this one smells like. I'm getting more of a girly kind of scent from this one. Okay, so my first impression is bubble gum and kind of like a powder base, kind of like the smell of powder, like a light powder scent. But I'm getting bubble gum as well. So let's go ahead and see what the notes are here. So the notes are going to be neroli and bergamot. The middle notes are going to be orange blossom and Bulgarian rose. And the base note is going to be that marshmallow, vanilla, musk, and pomegranate. There's a lot in here. So I want to specifically point out the Bulgarian rose. That is that flowery kind of probably that like bubblegummy scent that I was kind of describing. So that makes sense. I can definitely, now that they mention it, I can smell the pomegranate. I think the vanilla, like, yeah, the vanilla is more of a base. I can definitely smell that as well. And I can also smell the orange. So again, I would definitely say that this one is more light and flirty, kind of fun, uh, maybe daytime perfume. But the best way that I can kind of describe this perfume is if you're into, again, seasons, I would say this is probably more of like your spring, summer, um, kind of daytime scent. It's very light, um, very airy, but those notes are very, very much present. Um, it smells really good. Um, this, let's see, this one starts at $48 for their 0.24 ounce and their 1.7 ounce is $265. So again, what I like most about most of the what I like about all of the perfumes is that they're all relatively priced um, and you can get one of those smaller bottles for under $50, which is really, really nice. All right, so now let's move on to kind of a favorite. I actually have not gotten into Jo Malone yet, but I know a lot of other people have. So the next perfume is actually gonna come from Jo Malone and it is going to be their wood, sage, and sea salt cologne. So let's go ahead and see what this one is giving. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed was pow was a powder scent. Like even more so than the than the Killian Paris. The first thing that I smell is a powder with an undertone of sweetness of some sort. So let's go ahead and see how they describe it. So the notes in this one particular are going to be ombre seed, sea salt, sage, red algae, and grapefruit. So I'm thinking that grapefruit is going to be kind of like that sweet scent that I'm describing. Um, and it sounds like the ombre seed and the sage are gonna be probably that powdery scent that I am describing. So if, if kind of like that powdery scent is something that you tend to go for, I would definitely recommend either the Jo Malone or the Killian in Paris. I would say that the Jo Malone definitely has more of a presence of that powdery scent, but is definitely present in both of them. Again, if we're talking seasons, I would definitely say this is probably more spring, summer, or more daytime uh, scent, but this also feels more like an everyday scent. Like I would say both of these, the Killian in Paris and the Jo Malone, feel more like kind of like your everyday scent. So if that helps, I think that that is also a really good way to describe it. And for the prices for the Jo Malone, the 0.3 ounce is going to be $45 and the 3.4 ounce is going to be $155. So now let's get into another Dior fragrance, and this is going to be the Miss Dior. So some of you might be familiar with this one. This is pretty popular, but let's go ahead and see kind of what my first impressions are. Okay, so I love this. Uh, Miss Dior is one of my favorite perfumes. I'm getting a sweet scent. 
And I'm also getting a scent that I can't really describe. So let's go ahead and get into the notes. They're describing it as warm florals and that makes sense. So what I was smelling, what I, what my impression was, was a sweet scent, which is kind of the florals. But because they're describing it as like a warm floral, it has this undertone of something. And I think it's whatever is making the florals kind of smell warm or appear to, to smell warm. Let's see what they say. So the notes in this one are going to be iris, peony, and lily of the valley. Middle notes are going to be apricot apricot that's what that's what's very apparent um rose and peach the peach the peach is very apparent and then the base notes are going to be vanilla musk tonka bean ben benzoin and sandalwood okay so all of this makes sense now that i read it what i smell initially is going to be the peach and the apricot However, the musk in that tonka bean is also going to, those being base notes makes a lot of sense because it almost, it's not masking the floral scent, but it is giving it a different spin. So you get that floral element, but you also get an undertone of like the vanilla and the bean, and it just really smells really good. So I would definitely recommend this one too. This, um, the 0.7 ounce is going to be $51 and the 3.4 ounce is going to be $148. Super popular perfume, Miss Dior, you'll find it anywhere. So the next perfume, again, super popular, but this is going to be the Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. This smells really, really good. Um, this smells really, really good. I am gonna say, so I'm getting fun, flirty vibes as I sit here and kind of think about it again. And I can't quite put my finger on what it is. It's flower bombs, so I'm definitely smelling that those flowers, uh, whatever those notes are that have the flowers in them, those hit me right away. But let's go ahead and see exactly what's in the flower bomb because I can't quite put my finger on it. So the top notes are gonna be tea, bergamot, and osmanthus. The middle notes are gonna be orchard, jasmine, rose, forsia, and African orange flower and the base notes are going to be patchouli musk and vanilla so i think the the musk is something i can never really put my finger on but it's always in there so the musk and the patchouli are definitely very present and then i'm assuming this african orange flower the orchard and the rose are what's really apparent the musk and the patchouli are what i can never really put my finger on musk is typically in a lot of fragrances and i can never really put my finger on it but it's usually always there that's what i can't put my finger on but this african the free the frisia and the african orange flower the jasmine the orchard the rose all of those different flowers are what's very apparent. That's what I smell initially. But then those base notes, the, va the vanilla, the musk, that's what I could never put my finger on, but it smells so good. Um, this one for the Flower Bomb for the 0.33 ounce is going to be $33. And for the 3.4 ounce is going to be $168. So absolutely love Flower Bomb, obviously a favorite. Um, you can't go wrong with this one. So the next perfume is actually gonna come from Gucci and it's going to be their Flora Gorgeous Gardenia perfume. So obviously we know there's gonna be some gardenia in there. If you are a gardenia person, if gardenia is something that typically attracts you in terms of scents, this is definitely gonna be a really great option for you already. Okay, so the gardenia is definitely present. That's the first thing that I smell. Um, and then there is, it's more of a warm gardenia, I would say. So there's probably some musk in there, but we'll see. So the notes for this one are going to be Italian Mandarin, Red Berries, Floral Accord, and Pear Accord, followed by Heart Notes of Jasmine Absolute, White Gardenia, Frangipani Flower, Magnolia Abstract, and a base of brown sugar. So the notes that jump out at me, obviously are gonna be the white gardenia, but also this pear accord. I do smell the pear. Now that they mentioned it, I do smell the pear. Um, and also the red berries, oddly. I do smell the red berries in here as well. This is a really nice scent. I almost think that this is a scent that I could imagine in like lotions and things like that. It's not too overpowering of a scent. Um, but it is there. So I really, really like that. I think that this is another kind of everyday scent if you're looking for a scent to, you know, wear every day or you, you're looking for a new kind of on-the-go scent. I would definitely suggest this Gucci Flora. Um, the 2.5 ounce, the 0.25 ounce 
is going to be $35 and the 3.3 ounce is going to be $149. So definitely would recommend that. I think that this one, I had never smelled this one before. Um, and I think that this is really nice, like I said, for just, you know, if you're someone who's looking for a new everyday perfume, I think this is it. Okay, so the next fragrance is actually going to come from Prada, and it is called the Luna Rosa Ocean. So let's go ahead and see what this one is smelling like. Okay, so this, so my immediate thought is that this is very similar to the Dior uh, fragrance that I mentioned that I said was a little bit more masculine. I get a hint of, so masculine, but has a scent of freshness. Um, so I get a sense of maybe some sort of orange or something fresh, um, maybe some kind of fresh uh, fruit, um, but also there is an undertone of almost like cologne, like if we're thinking like men's cologne, um, but let's go ahead and see what the notes are in this one. So this one is actually going to have orange essence, so that's what I smell right off the top, lavender absolute. Clary Sage, Spearmint, Nana, Spearmint. This one definitely has an element of Spearmint in it. I can smell that. Um, Umbroxan and Umbrette Absule. So what jumps out at me is going to be the Spearmint, Nana. I think that's kind of the base. Um, and then also the Orange Essence. And also the Clary Sage as well. I would definitely say that. Um, so if you are interested in that one or that feels like something that you'd be interested in, um, the 0.33 ounce is going to be $25 and the 3.3 ounce is going to be $100. So there is the Prada Rosa Ocean. So the next fragrance is gonna come from Prada as well and it is actually a new fragrance and it is called the Paradox. Okay, so my initial reaction, I am getting kind of that powdery base that I've mentioned before, kind of like that that powder smell. I'm also getting flowers maybe. So let's go ahead and see. And also I'm getting flirty and fun. So again, this is another flirty and fun kind of scent, kind of every day. So the top notes are gonna be bergamot heart, tangerine essence, I can definitely smell the tangerine, and paracord. The heart notes are going to be Neroli Essence and Neroli Bud Essence, Tunisian Orange Flower Heart Absolute Blossom, Jasmine Sambac Absolute, and then the base notes are going to be Amber Accord, there's some Vanilla Fusion in here, and then also there is more Musk. So what I smell is going to definitely be the essence, the, the tangerine essence and the pear accord. Those definitely stand out. And also that flower heart absolute blossom, I definitely smell that as well. I think that's what's giving it kind of that powdery, kind of flowery scent. Um, so definitely really, really like this one. I think this is another everyday scent. The three... The 0.33 ounce is going to be $30 and the three ounce is going to be $142. So still reasonably priced, especially for the smaller bottle. Um, and again, I think this is another good everyday scent. So the next scent is actually going to come from YSL. It's pretty popular. It's going to be the Black Opium. So let's go ahead and see what this one smells like. So I'm definitely getting a, it smells good. I'm getting kind of in like evening vibes from this one. And I'm thinking I'm getting some flowery scents as well. So let's go ahead and see what notes are in the black opium. So the top note is gonna be pink pepper. Pink pepper. I don't know what pink pepper is, but I definitely smell pepper in this black opium. That is very apparent. Orange blossom. Okay, orange blossom, pear. And then the heart notes are going to be coffee, bitter almond, licorice. I can smell the licorice, jasmine, and then the base notes are going to be vanilla, patchouli, cedar, and cashmere. So what I smell is going to be the pepper, the pink pepper, the licorice. I do smell the vanilla as well as the patchouli as well. Um, so I think this one smells really good. I would purchase this one. I know this one is pretty popular. Um, the 0.33 ounce is going to be $30 and the three ounce is $139. And yeah, this is really for me giving me an evening scent or even just like a going out. Um, you know, even if it's going out during the daytime, I would say this is a good mix of day to night. So the next fragrance is actually going to come from YSL and it is going to be their Libre perfume. So let's go ahead and get into this one. So I'm not really sure what I'm smelling. I'm pretty sure what I'm smelling is maybe a floral. 
Um, but it's hidden with some sort of base note. So let's go ahead and get into what this one is. It's it's being described as warm floral, so I think I kind of got something there. So the top notes are going to be lavender, mandarin orange, black currant, and pitagrain. The middle notes are going to be lavender, orange blossom, and jasmine. And the base notes are going to be Madagascar, vanilla, musk, cedar, and ambergris. So I'll tell you what I smell off the top is going to be the lavender and I also smell that mandarin orange. It's almost if you as if you took a flower and an orange and put them together and then I'm I'm really starting to understand the musk and how that's being used. You definitely smell the musk at, for the base note. Um, it's just giving it a warm kind of feel. So if you took like some oranges and you took some flowers and you gave it a warmer kind of feel, that's what you're going to get with this YSL Libre. The 0.33 ounce is going to be $30 and 3.04 ounce bottle is going to be $140. And that is that for the YSL Libre. I know that's been a very popular fragrance, so you guys may have come across it before, but if you haven't, I would definitely say if you're into flowers and oranges, I would definitely try out the Libre. So the next fragrance is going to come from Giorgio Armani and it is going to be their Aqua De Gio fragrance. So the first thing that I smell is, okay, this is giving whatever the scent is, like the, it's giving a fresh scent. And it almost smells like a scent that you would find in a men's deodorant, if that makes any sense. So let's go ahead and see what the notes are. It's being described as fresh aquatic, so that definitely makes sense. So let's go ahead and see what the notes are. So the top notes are lime, lemon, bergamot, jasmine orange mandarin orange and neroli the middle notes are going to be c notes jasmine cologne peach frisa rosemary there's some violet in here some nutmeg and then the base notes are going to be musk <laughs> white musk cedar oak moss patchouli and amber so what i really smell is really probably going to be that lime and the mandarin orange for kind of like those top notes and again we have the musk the nutmeg that is really kind of holding it all together so if you are looking for and also i think i would probably describe this as a little bit more on the masculine side but it's not super cologne if that makes sense so again like when you think about a men's deodorant it's not like it, it's not heavy on the cologne it's just it doesn't typically smell like how they make women's deodorant a little bit more fresh and flowery um so that is as best as i could probably describe this one as like it kind of smells like a men's deodorant but it's not like but it doesn't have the the depth of a cologne in it so yeah i'm getting kind of an everyday more masculine scent if that makes any sense so not super heavy on the cologne um definitely like i said more of an everyday scent so the small bottle, the 0.67 ounce bottle is going to be $36 and the 3.4 ounce bottle is going to be $98. So again, for the smaller bottles, really, really reasonably priced, especially for the larger bottles as well. So the next fragrance is gonna come from YSL as well and it is going to be their Y fragrance. Okay, so I'm getting a sense of sweetness, maybe a little citrusy, but it also smells like it's kind of being mixed with maybe some musk for a base note. So let's go ahead and see what is in this one. It's being described as citrus and woods. So I'm kind of already on the nose there. Um, so the notes in this one are pretty simple. It is going to be bergamot, sage, and ginger. So the ginger is what I smell off the bat. That's the first thing that I noticed. And I think the sage and the bergamot are going to be what kind of tones it down a little bit. But the ginger is very apparent. So if you're someone who loves ginger, um, this is definitely going to be a fragrance for you. I also would say that this is probably a little more on the unisex side, unisex to masculine side. Um, it's not, I wouldn't describe it as like, you know, fun, flirty, kind of girly. Um, this is definitely, I would say, I would say a day to night uh, fragrance as well. Um, but I would place it in more of the unisex to masculine side if I were describing it. So the 0.33 ounce bottle is going to be $30 and the 3.4 ounce bottle is going to be $139. I would definitely recommend this one. The next fragrance is gonna come from Versace and this is going to be their Bright Crystal fragrance. So I am getting a very fun, girly, 
scent when I smell this. That's kind of what I think about. I think about um, maybe like going out for brunch with friends in the summertime or whenever, honestly. But this is probably the scent that I would wear. I also would say that this is probably an everyday scent as well. It's not very potent, um, but it smells like it's just enough for, you know, if you want to have a fragrance on that day. It's being described as fresh floral, so that's pretty on the nose. So the top notes are going to be yuzo, ice, accord, pomegranate. The middle notes are going to be peony, Mongolia and lotus flower and the base is going to be akaju amber and musk so what i smell is definitely going to be that pomegranate i also smell the peony and i can tell that some musk has been added as well so again i would really recommend this i think that this is really good for like that everyday perfume if you're looking for that everyday perfume um the 0.3 ounce bottle is going to run you 30 dollars, and the three ounce bottle is going to run you 105 dollars so now let's move over into Valentino. And I was really excited about this one because I had heard about this Valentino perfume, but I had never smelled it myself. Um, and I think I'm actually gonna purchase this one. This one's gonna be the Valentino Donna Born in Roma fragrance. So this one, this is kind of, I know I talked about gentle fluidity earlier. This is like if gentle fluidity was a little on the sweeter side. So I would say that this is definitely, I would probably wear this, I would say day and night, um, but I'm getting a citrusy or sweet scent um, and there's probably some musk in there as well. So let's go ahead and see. So the top notes are going to be black currant, pink pepper, and bergamot. The middle notes are going to be jasmine, jasmine sambac, and jasmine tea. And now that they say the jasmine tea, I can definitely smell that as well. And then the base notes are gonna be bourbon, vanilla, cashmere, and then there's a wood scent in there as well. And what, again, what I really smell is, now that they mention it, I do smell that pink pepper again, and I also smell the jasmine tea. So I absolutely really like this one. I think I'm gonna purchase this one, like I mentioned, the 0.33 ounce is gonna be $32, and the 3.4 ounce is gonna be $138. Again, this is very similar to the gentle fluidity if it was just a little bit on the sweeter side or the softer side or the more citrusy side, however you kind of want to describe it. Um, it's just a little lighter than kind of the gentle fluidity that um, has some of those base notes that are a little bit more heavy. Um, so absolutely really, really like this Valentino. I will be purchasing this one for sure. We are down to our last two fragrances. The next fragrance is going to come from Dolce & Gabbana and it is going to be their light blue fragrance. To be honest, I'm not really sure what it is that I'm smelling. If I had to guess, I would say there's a floral scent, but let's go ahead and check out the notes. Okay, so the smell that I could not put my finger on, I now know what it is. It is the Sicilian lemon. So there is a lemon flavor and now that really makes sense because it almost smells like a lemon zest. So there's lemon, there's apple, there's cedar and bellflower. The middle notes are going to be bamboo, jasmine and white rose and the base notes are going to be cedar, musk and amber. So what I really smell is going to be that lemon and I definitely smell the bamboo and the jasmine. And there's also base notes, like I mentioned, of musk that I can also now smell that's in there. And also the amber. So if you are a fan of amber, you will definitely smell that in here as well. It's a lighter fragrance, so it is definitely more on the like lighter and airy side. And so because of that, I would definitely say that this is another everyday scent. I would also categorize this as more of the unisex. Um, I think that this could pretty much work for everybody and be kind of a everyday fragrance as well. So I think this is another really great option for from Dolce & Gabbana if you're someone who kind of likes that citrusy, like I said, lemon zest. That was the first thing that I smelled that I could not put my finger on. But I think that this is a really, really great option. Um, and the smaller bottle, the 0.33 ounce is going to be $29 and the 3.3 ounce is going to be $110. And our last fragrance is actually one that I'm pretty familiar with. I don't have it myself, but I purchased it um, as a gift for my friend and she absolutely loved it. I know a lot of times it is very difficult to purchase fragrances for someone, but when I smelled this at Nordstrom, I was like, okay, someone's getting it. If it's, if it's not her, then it's gonna be me. So this is going to be the Marc Jacobs Daisy fragrance. 
And this one is kind of difficult to explain as well, so we'll get into the notes. But the first thing that I smell off the bat is kind of, I'm getting that powdery smell, that powdery fragrance. And then I'm also getting, obviously, the flowers. So the top notes for this one are going to be the Violet Leaf grapefruit okay i do smell the grapefruit now that um now that i see it and there's some strawberry in there as well the heart notes are going to be violet gardenia and jasmine and the base notes are going to be white musk woody notes and vanilla so with all of that being said now what i really smell is going to be the obviously the violet leaf um, I do smell a little bit of that grapefruit and also the gardenia is pretty present as well. And I would say that this is another everyday scent. Like I could definitely see myself wearing this every day. It's not too much. It still kind of feels a little light and airy. Um, you can definitely do it at dinner. I would say, you know, all times a year, I would definitely recommend this Daisy. The price for the smaller bottle for the 0.33 ounce is going to be $31 and for the 3.4 ounce is going to be $120. So another really, really great everyday option. And I think everyday options are where I tend to get the most bang from my buck. Um, obviously, we want our scents that we can wear, you know, to dinner and more special occasions, but I really like to invest in a good everyday scent. Again, this is all about confidence, and a lot of times we find our confidence through different things, and a lot of times for some people that's fragrances, um, and different fragrances for different occasions and different times of the year and whatnot. So I hope you found something out of these 18 different fragrances, all different price points, but still very reasonably priced. Um, I hope that you found something that you are going to go out and test for yourself, possibly purchase. If you have any of these fragrances or you've had any experiences with these fragrances, please let me know down in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Like I said, there are several in here that I myself am going to purchase and add to my collection so we can build our collections together. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.